Good evening, with Sports Night. I'm Amory Burke. Well, Jonathan Jones has again lowered the national men's 400 meter record. Today, competing at the London Diamond League, Jones finished second in a time of 44.63 seconds, shaving off one one hundredth of a second off the old record of 44.64 he set just weeks ago. Here's a look at that race with Jones running out of lane eight. Jonathan Jones of Barbados goes in lane eight. Just 20 years old, nine days ago in uh, Monaco. He ran the entire race when they, uh, uh, there had been a full start. He didn't realize he wasn't able to run the uh, second run, of course. Well, who's going to go off quickest? Looks to me like uh, Yusuf, Rabbi Yusuf Extreme Left has gone off pretty quickly. And so is the athlete in lane three, Obi Igbokwe. Only ranked 15th in the USA, the 22-year-old, although he's run 45.35 this year. All in the white strip, he's blasted down the back straight. And also going strongly out in lane seven is Demish Gay of Jamaica. Tall figure of Demish Gay in the white vest to left of picture. Coming around the bend, it's very tight between these five, although it's the stagger and winds in the favor of Igbokwe in the lane three. He led into the straight. Here, though, comes in lane five, Akeem Bloomfield. And he's looking very strong indeed as he crosses the line there. Well, Bloomfield, 44.40. Jonathan Jones, well, after all that frustration of Monaco nine days ago, he came here with a best of 44.64, and he won a personal best and a Barbadian, a Bayesian national record. Also taking a place in the top three at the London Grand Prix was Barbadian Tia Adena Bell, who was third in the women's 400 meter hurdles. Her time was 54.54 seconds. The race was won by Jamaica's Rochelle Clayton in a time of 54.16. Here's a look at her race. Safely away. Well, we know Hainabert has got a good, strong finish, and she's being uh, tracked already by Rochelle Clayton. Sage Watson has gone off uh, quite nicely, but uh, if anybody at the moment, it's uh, Rochelle Clayton who is closing down nicely and has got a target of the uh, two-time world champion. And it's nice smooth running in the first uh, 200 meters for Rochelle Clayton. Susanna Henover, though, comes strong in the latter stages, so let's not just discount her for the moment, but it's pretty even in, as the, uh, the bend unfolds here. Rochelle Clayton in lane four from Jamaica, center of picture, is going well. Also Bell with the blue hair, but now Hainava starting to come through. Also going well is Arishkova in lane two for Ukraine. Hainava coming through now onto the shoulder of Clayton. Final barrier. Now it's a sprint for the line, and Clayton starts to open the shoulders. The stride quickens, and it's Clayton who comes home. 54-16, the winning time. The successful Barbados Junior Squash team is back home after capturing this year's Caribbean Area Squash Championships in Trinidad and Tobago. Head coach Sean Simpson says he was always confident of a win going into the final day. Going into the championships, we knew we had a number of age group category number ones, and um, we actually went into the finals day of the individual section where we had just about 10 players uh, on that final day, either competing for first, second, third, or fourth, which was a really strong testament to the preparation and the, the talent we have at, at this level. Um, coming out of that, we have four age group category winners. Uh, we had two second place, a third, and fourth. Four, four fourth places, you know. Uh, so from that, I knew going into the team event that, especially on our girls' side, we were going to be very hard to beat. One of those female players is Megan Bass, who won her final game to take the gold. So I knew it was going to be tougher this year as um, from the previous year. So um, I knew that I put in a lot of work, and I knew that you know if I really performed to my full potential, that I should have I should have um, taken home the goal, um, which I did. Um, so you know I just got to thank God. I got to thank my parents, coaches. Um, I don't know that everything keeps working out how you're planning it. Um, hopefully it continues. Um, West Indies A lost their final game of their one international series against India A by an eight wickets in Antigua today to lose the series four games to one. Batting first, the Windies compiled a modest 236 all out with Shafane with the third top scorer 65 and Sula Ambrace getting 61. Ruta Jaj Kawad fell one short of a century in India A's reply as they reached 237 for two. 
And here is the score from today's game of the day in the BCA Elite Division. It was the second day of the second series. Over at Rice's, Carlton needed 38 runs for victory as they ended the day on 6-4-1 in response to Gladiola's 104 and 152 for 9. Carlton in their first innings made 213.